there and welcome to Saturday. Um, I know it, some people work over the weekend so I won't assume that everybody's just having a nice lie-in or relaxing this weekend because I know a lot of people aren't but I hope that you do have a nice weekend um, whatever you're doing. Um, before I do my card pick today I'm going to do two cards in a moment for uh, Saturday but before I do, I just wanted to say congratulations to a lady that has been commenting on my um, videos this week, um, Kerry, Kerry McMyler. Um, thank you so much for your lovely messages um, and congratulations. I know you climbed uh, Snowden yesterday and also got engaged to your girlfriend. So I'm so, so happy for you. Um, and it was really nice that you got <laughs> inspired from the message on Thursday about putting your big girl's pants on. Um, but actually, that made me think, because yesterday we, we had a bit of a funny moment because um, I was picking those fluffy animal cards, if you remember, and it didn't quite go to plan. We got the death card come out, which was a moth, and then a little piggy, which was kind of a happy, happy lighter card. Um, but that just kind of made me think, you know, Sometimes when you look back on your tarot cards the, the day after, they make an awful lot of sense. And for me, that did for you, really, Kerry. Um, and I know in my own little world that that kind of um, resonated because there are times when the death comes, card comes up that it's about being reborn and putting, you know, letting go of stuff. And I know you, you said you sort of felt like you let go of a lot of stuff and you've brought a lot of light and excitement into your life. And, you know... That is what the death card is all about, which we got yesterday. It's, it's not all doom and gloom. There are some wonderful, magical moments where we can transform our lives. Um, and I was a bit taken aback yesterday when I saw it, because obviously, like I said, I was expecting a little fluffy animal. But um, yeah, it, it totally, totally makes sense now, which is one of the great things about the tarot, especially if you write it down, if you've got a journal and you're writing down what's happening to you in that particular moment when you've picked a card. Um, you can look back in a, in a week or a month and think, oh, that makes a lot of sense, you know? And, it's, and it also helps you connect with the cards a little bit more and understand your own deck and your own pack or whatever. Um, I've done that for many years, and it's funny sometimes looking back, the messages are so obvious, <laughs> but when you're in that moment, you don't see it. So I hope yesterday on Friday, you all found your little um, moment where you were reborn and, and felt like something new and exciting was coming into your life. And do if you did, please do leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear. Okay, so today we're going to do two different packs, actually. We're going to do energy cards, which I really enjoy working with. And then I'm going to pick one of these and one from the Muse Tarot. So this, this is an interesting and very creative pack of cards, um, if you like collecting different packs of cards. I haven't got loads of those. I'm not a massive, massive collector of tarot. I haven't got like hundreds of packs stashed away under my bed. But yeah, I have a fair few. So we'll go through them all in the course of these videos. But today we're going to do the energy card. And one has just fallen out of the pack. So obviously we've got to go with that one. And we've got community. And that is a nice card. It, it kind of reminds me, and I know we had this card earlier in the week, about the Three of Cups, and we was talking about uh, people getting together and chatting and talking. Um, but this, I have to take my glasses off again. This one just feels to me, I feel the word community is important because we've all got our own little community wherever it is. I kind of feel like we're... we're bringing to together our own community here, really, because, as I say, there's been some lovely comments um, over this first week of videos, um, and it has made me feel really connected with people. Um, so I kind of want to say that, that, you know, for me, this that is how this card is resonating. Um, and it may be, you know, that these videos, are, you're, you're seeing comments and liking them or um, resonating with these in some way. Or there might be some other community activity that you're thinking about doing or becoming a part of or something that's really important to you. Um, and I think the fact that this is a weekend as well, a lot of us do get that little moment to think, you know, to do things that we enjoy at the weekend if we're not working. Um, 
you might you or you might be standing on a cold football field tomorrow and that's your community if you've got a son that plays football or you're going to dance lessons if it's a, it's your daughter or whatever. you know lots of different communities in our lives and what makes us feel part of something and that's a really important thing um and i do feel you know the whole of this week we've had all these things about changes and endings and the, the moon was at the last weekend where it was letting go of stuff and that does create a little um, void and that's our chance then to fill it with something new. Um, so I, I do feel this is, you know, new, new opportunities or, you know, anything, something in the community that maybe that you do want to do. Um, I mean, obviously one of these ladies is playing an instrument. Um, <laughs> It can be so many different things, can't it, that we, we do. Let's pick another card and see if it sheds some light on, if it sheds some a little bit more light. But I do feel that that community for me is this little community that we're building here and all the lovely comments and um, and people that are getting messages that, you know, say Kerry inspired me, that from, you know, her being inspired from that message and, it's just kind of how it grows, isn't it, you know? Um, yeah, people just sort of spread the love and spread the joy. That's, that's a lovely community to be in, isn't it? So let's see what the Muse Tarot has to say about it. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So we've got a major card. Now these are, are very colourful cards, actually. And this is the Empress. Put my glasses off again so I can see them. <laughs> okay, so the Empress is the card. Um, so she's she is. I, I talked about foot being on the football pitch and um, and going dancing with if you've got children, and then obviously this card come up which represents the mother. But I'm very drawn to the fact that, as I said, that there is this element of us all nurturing ourselves it's not just about what we're doing for other people or our children or our parents or it's what we're doing for us um, and I'm really drawn to the fact that this lady's got her eyes closed and she's got this golden light coming out of her heart and it's I, I feel like that's about these two messages combined are about doing what you really love doing what you really want to do, what really makes your heart go that beautiful golden colour. Um, for me, it's tarot, which is why I'm doing this. You know, I kind of asked myself a few times while I was struggling to get equipment to work, why am I doing this? But it's because I've got such a genuine love of tarot and the messages that they can give and inspire and help and guide us to just live... Um, a, a higher sort of version of ourselves and a, a better life for ourselves where we're not constantly living in fear and worry and I really do feel that with the tarot but you know whatever your thing is that really genuinely makes you feel happy I know somebody spoke um, and I can't remember your name I'm so sorry but you mentioned about painting um, and you know it, it, whatever it is that makes you feel inspired and what you love Yes, do it to, to help yourself and nurture yourself, but maybe there's a community aspect there that is, uh, it's, um, you know, drawing you to. Maybe or there's a class or something that you really would like to go to, but you're just a bit nervous or something like that. I just feel these cards combined together, it's, um, it's a very girl powery kind of card, as if like, yeah, you go girl, go on. It's like they're all... Um, egged us on to just go and do what we love and just have fun and that's actually a really lovely energy you know because when you're doing stuff that you enjoy it, it, it just it makes your life a bit brighter doesn't it um, and this lady seems very much at peace and these ladies feel seem like they're all part of something that they're really enjoying so there's food for thought there I think um, you know, have a really good thing. It'd be really interesting to know what it is that you do um, that really inspires you and just makes you feel like this little golden glow inside you. Um, and maybe consider if there's, you know, if, if it's something that you just do as a hobby, maybe maybe it's time to broaden your horizons and do something. Um, you know, I, that's why I'm out here doing these videos every day because <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing. And I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying it. 
Um, so yeah, who knows what opportunities happen when you start um, investing time in yourself and doing the things that you love. So that is the message for today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I'll be back again tomorrow with another couple of cards. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe my um, videos. That would really help me. Thank you. Um, and yeah, please do share them if you see them on Facebook. Please do share them with your friends if you think that that message would help them in some way too. Okay, have a lovely Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye.